Welcome to this course, Introduction to Cybersecurity Literacy. This is Lesson 2, Why Study Cybersecurity? In this lesson, I'll sketch a definition of cybersecurity for you, and I'll make the case that cybersecurity is something that everybody can benefit from studying. It's rewarding for both casual computer users and technology enthusiasts alike. So what is cybersecurity exactly? One rough definition looks like this. Cybersecurity is protecting yourself and others from attacks that are carried out primarily with computers. Now, because the overwhelming majority of computer-based attacks are attacks on information, we may use the term cybersecurity interchangeably with the term information security. Cybersecurity is a rewarding study because no computer is secure, including yours. Every computer and every system has security vulnerabilities, including Wi-Fi networks, the servers that host your email accounts, your bank, every retailer that swipes your payment cards, and any computers that you might be holding or wearing right now. Even if nobody knows what those vulnerabilities are yet, be assured they exist. Now, maybe at first that perspective makes it sound like cybersecurity isn't worth studying at all. Why worry about a problem that I can't fix, you might ask. The answer is that you can still be more or less secure, and the more secure you are, the less of a target you are. Cyber criminals who are out to steal passwords or credit card numbers or whatever else, they're usually going to target less secure machines and less secure systems. I mean, think about it. Imagine that you're a bicycle thief and you find two similar bikes sitting on a bike rack, one with a lock and one without a lock. Which one would you be more likely to steal? The lockless one, right? Criminals are practical like that. They attack weaknesses. All other things being equal, the more weaknesses you cover, the lower the probability of a security breach. Now, you might be thinking that all this talk of computer weaknesses doesn't apply to you. You might be thinking, but I use a Mac or a Linux machine. I thought Mac and Linux machines were secure. But that's not really the case. Mac and Linux machines are just less popular. Why does popularity matter? Well, think like a criminal again for a minute. Imagine that you are a bicycle thief, and imagine that everybody in your city has bought a new lock for their bike. Now imagine that 9 out of every 10 cyclists has purchased lock A, and 1 out of every 10 has purchased lock B. Which kind of lock would you learn to pick? Well, you'd learn to pick lock A, right? Because there's many, many more opportunities to pick that lock. Now imagine that it's computers instead of bicycles. It turns out that there are about nine Windows computers for every Mac out there, assuming for now that we aren't including tablets and smartphones. And even fewer people run Linux machines. So for now, it's easier and more profitable for cyber criminals to focus their attacks on Windows PCs. But if the market were to even out so that Windows PCs didn't dominate like they do now, we would begin to see more attacks against Mac and Linux users as well. There is nothing inherently more secure about a Mac or a Linux computer, it's just easier for cyber criminals to focus their attacks on one kind of system, and it's more economical for them to attack the majority. But really, all this talk of attacking computers themselves is somewhat misleading. In reality, cyber criminals don't attack your computer at all. They attack you. We tend to think of cyber criminals as computer geniuses who use their technical mastery to hack into our systems. But most cyber criminals are more like con artists who exploit user behaviors rather than exploiting computer systems themselves. In many cyber attacks, the brand or type of computer that you're using is completely irrelevant because the criminal isn't attacking the computer, the criminal is trying to exploit you, the user. Now, a few cyber criminals out there probably are geniuses. But the truth is that most cyber attacks are carried out by regular criminals who have simply looked up how to attack a computer user. They are simply just following a set of directions. When these attacks work, they work because many computer users are naive. They don't understand how cyber criminals think, and they don't understand what kinds of cyber crimes are common or possible, and they don't really understand how the attacks are carried out. If you go online, you can find some lists of do's and don'ts for smart computer usage. Do's and don'ts are okay, but they don't really help you to understand why your computer is under attack or how those attacks are carried out. But we think that if you have a deeper understanding of cybersecurity, you'll be better prepared to recognize and avoid cyber attacks. And we also think that if you have a deeper understanding that goes beyond just simple do's and don'ts, 
then you'll be better prepared to teach yourself about new security problems when they arise. For this reason, we're going to go beyond do's and don'ts in this course and introduce themes like how computers work, how the internet works, how cyber criminals think, and what security tools are available to you. In this class, instead of just giving you a list of behaviors to blindly follow, we're going to help you to understand the issues surrounding cybersecurity so that you can take a more active role in your own digital defense. Finally, you might wonder whether this is going to be any fun. Well, our answer is yes. We think cybersecurity is loads of fun. Cybersecurity can feel like a great big strategy game, a game where everybody is a player, including computer users, security professionals, hackers, virus writers, con artists, corporations, banks, mobsters, armies, and nation states, all playing different roles and interacting with each other on different levels. Maybe it's the greatest, most complex strategy game in all of human history, and like it or not, you and your data are already in the game somehow. Okay, I hope that you're beginning to agree that cybersecurity is a valuable thing to study. In the next lesson, we're going to begin building your cybersecurity vocabulary by introducing some of the new language that we're going to be using in this course.